Hi, this is your Master Karen at sa video na to ay matututo kayo on how to illustrate geometric sequence and on how to differentiate arithmetic from geometric sequence. Makinig ng mabuti and enjoy learning. Paano natin malalaman na ang isang sequence ay halimbawa ng geometric sequence? So let's have these examples. These examples are examples of geometric sequence. Unahin natin si 2, 4, 8, 6, and so on. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang pattern na ginamit dito is by multiplying 2. Let's see. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Ang tawag kay 2 sa geometric sequence is the common ratio. Therefore, ang common ratio ng geometric sequence na 2, 4, 8, 16 is 2. Let's have number 2. 1, 3, 9, 27, and so on. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang pattern na ginamit dito is by multiplying 3. Let's see. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 9 times 3 is equal to 27, and so on. Ang tawag kay 3 sa geometric sequence is the common ratio. Ibig sabihin, ang common ratio ng geometric sequence na 1, 3, 9, 27, and so on is 3. Let's have number 3. Negative 1, 2, negative 4, 8, and so on. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang pattern na ginamit dito is by multiplying negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. Positive 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. And so on. Ang tawag kay negative 2 sa geometric sequence is the form. Therefore, ang common ratio ng geometric sequence na negative 1, 2, negative 4, 8, and so on is negative 2. Paano mo na makukuha ang common ratio ng isang geometric sequence? Kung mapapansin nyo, yung pattern na ginamit dito is always multiplication. Ibig sabihin, para makuha mo si common ratio, since multiplication to, ang gagamitin mo naman ngayon is division. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 16 divided by 8 is 2. Same with number 2. 3 divided by 1 is 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 27 divided by 9 is 3. Paano mo naman makukuha ang next terms ng geometric sequence? So, itry natin sa number 1. Since nag-end tayo sa 16 at ang common ratio is 2, therefore, 16 times 2 is equal to 32. 32 times 2 is equal to 64. And 64 times 2 is equal to 128. Therefore, ang 5th term, 6th term, and 7th term ng 2, 4, 8, 16 is 32, 64, and 128. Ngayon naman ay alamin natin ang pinagkaiba ng arithmetic sequence at geometric sequence. So, let's try to differentiate arithmetic and geometric sequence. So, let's have these examples. 2, 4, 6, 8 is an example of arithmetic sequence. 2, 4, 8, 16 and so on is an example of geometric sequence. Ano nga ba ang pinagkaiba ni arithmetic at ni geometric? Sa arithmetic, kung mapapansin nyo, ang pattern na ginamit is by adding 2. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8 and so on. Sa geometric naman, ang ginamit na pattern is by multiplying 2. So we have 2 times 2 is equal to 4, 4 times 2 is equal to 8, 8 times 2 is equal to 16, and so on. Kung mapapansin nyo sa arithmetic, ang operation na ginamit is addition. 
at sa geometric, ang ginamit na operation is multiplication. Then, ano ang tawag kay 2 sa arithmetic sequence? Ang tawag kay 2 sa arithmetic sequence is the common difference. At sa geometric sequence naman, ang tawag kay 2 is the common ratio. Next is, paano naman natin malalaman si common difference sa arithmetic sequence at si common ratio sa geometric sequence? Halimbawa ay hindi mo pa alam na ang pattern dito is by adding 2 at ang pattern dito is by multiplying 2. Kaya arithmetic sequence muna tayo. Para mahanap si common difference, ang gagamitin nating operation is subtraction. So, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Then, 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. Then, 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. Therefore, ang iyong common difference is 2. Paano naman sa geometric sequence? Ang ginagamit sa geometric sequence para makuha si common ratio is division. So, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. Then, 16 divided by 8 is equal to 2. Therefore, ang iyong common ratio is equal to 2. Paano naman makukuha yung susunod na terms ng arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence? Sa arithmetic sequence, para makuha yung susunod na terms, i-add mo lang si common difference doon sa last term. So, para mahanap si fifth term, 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. Then, para naman mahanap si sixth term, 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. Sa geometric sequence naman, para makuha yung susunod na terms, imumultiply mo lang si common ratio doon sa last term na binigay. So, para makuha si fifth term, 16 times 2 is equal to 32. And, para makuha si sixth term, 32 times 2 is equal to 64. Let's have another example. So, para makuha si common ratio, gagamit tayo ng operation na division. So, para makuha si common ratio, i-divide si first term doon sa second term. So, 6 divided by 3. Then, i-divide mo rin si second term doon sa third term. So, 12 divided by 6. Then, kailangan, alamin muna natin yung common ratio. At kung pare-pareho yung common ratio, therefore, geometric siya. So, paano natin makukuha yung common ratio? So, para makuha si common ratio, gagamit tayo ng operation na division. So, para makuha si common ratio, i-divide si first term doon sa second term. So, 6 divided by 3. Then, i-divide mo rin si second term doon sa third term. So, 12 divided by 6. Then, i-divide mo rin si third term doon sa fourth term. So, 24 divided by 12. So, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. 24 divided by 12 is equal to 2. So, pare-pareho siya ng sagot, which is 2. Therefore, itong sequence na ito is geometric sequence. At ang common ratio niya, which is R, is equal to 2. Then, let's find the next two terms. Para mahanap naman si next two terms, is imumultiply natin yung common ratio doon sa last term na binigay. So, kung ang first term, Fourth term natin is 24. Ang fifth term natin is 24 times 2 is equal to 48. Then 48 times 2 is equal to 96.
This is your fifth term and this is your sixth term. Let's have another example. State whether the sequence is geometric or not. If it is, find the common ratio and text two terms. So, para natin malalaman na ang sequence na ito is geometric sequence. So, una, hahanapin natin yung common ratio. So, para mahanap si common ratio, i-divide lang natin si first term, second term. Then, second term, third term. Then, third term and fourth term. At kung pare-pareho yung lumabas na sagot, ibig sabihin, geometric sequence siya. At yun yung common ratio. So, start tayo kay negative 32 divided by 64. Since mas malaki si denominator kesa kay numerator, ibig sabihin, yung sagot mo dito is fraction, hindi whole number. So, Pahanapin lang natin ngayon yung lowest term ni negative 32 over 64. Ano yung pinakamalaking number na pwedeng i-divide mo kay 32 at 64? So, kung mapapansin mo, pareho silang divisible by 32. So, negative 32 divided by 32 is negative 1. Then, 64 divided by 32 is 2. Since negative yung nasa taas at positive yung nasa baba, automatic negative na siya. So, negative 32 divided by 64 is negative 1 half. Then, dito naman tayo kay 16 divided by negative 32. Since mas malaki si denominator kaysa kay numerator, ibig sabihin, fraction din yung sagot mo dito. So, hahanapin mo yung lowest term ni 16 and negative 32. Pukunin mo lang yung lowest term niya. Ano yung pinakamalaking number na pwedeng i-divide mo kay 16 at negative 32? So, kung mapapansin mo, pwede siyang i-divide by 16. So, 16 divided by 16 is 1. Then, negative 32 divided by 16 is negative 2. Since positive to at negative yun nasa baba, automatic negative na siya. So, negative 1 half. Then, dito naman tayo kay negative 8 divided by 16. Since mas malaki pa rin si denominator kesa kay numerator, yung magiging sagot mo dito is fraction. So, kukunin mo lang yung lowest term ni negative 8 over 16. Ano yung pinakamalaking number na pwedeng i-divide mo kay 8 at kay 16? So, ang pinakamalaking number na pwedeng i-divide mo kay 8 at 16 is 8. So, negative 8 divided by 8 is negative 1. 16 divided by 8 is 2. Since negative yung nasa taas at positive yung nasa baba, pareho na siyang negative. So, your answer is negative 1 half. Kung mapapansin nyo, pare-pareho yung sagot na lumabas. Ibig sabihin, geometric sequence, si 64, negative 32, 16, negative 8, and so on. At ang common ratio nila, or ang R nila, is negative 1 half. Paano naman makahanap si next two terms? Ibumultiply lang natin yung last term na binigay, sa common ratio. So, dito na tayo sa baba magsusolve. Negative 8 times negative 1 half. So, si negative 8, ang denominator niya automatic is 1 since whole number siya. So, mumultiply lang natin si numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So, negative 8 times negative 1 is equal to positive 8. Then, 1 half times 2 is equal to 2. Then, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, ang iyong fifth term is 4. This is your fifth term. Then, let's find out our sixth term. Para makuha naman si sixth term, si 4 
i-multiply natin kay negative 1 half. Ang denominator ni 4, automatic, is 1. Since whole number siya. Para mag-multiply ng fraction, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Then 1 times 2 is 2. Then negative 4 divided by 2 is equal to negative 2. Therefore, ang iyong 6th term is negative 2. So, ibig sabihin, itong sequence na ito is geometric sequence. At ang common ratio is negative 1 half. Ang 5th term at 6th term is 4 and negative 2. Thank you. See you on my next video and learned with Master Karen every day. For other topics na gusto nyo pang i-discuss ni Master Karen, just comment down below.